guys, this is a video to make this specific bow. This one, I made it to be detachable. That's gonna fall. With an alligator clip, meaning they can add, they can just put it in there when the, you know, the baby outgrows it. They can uh, keep wearing this bow. This is, this tutorial is for this bow. You need approximately like around 45 inches to be on the safe side for, for this uh, four lip bow. Do it on this table because I already have my tape measure and everything. But I'll be using my other table so I can show you guys for a better angle. This is the ribbon I'll be using. It's a one and a half inch uh, satin ribbon, single face satin ribbon. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, and so on. I'm gonna start here on my edge as uh, starting out with my tail. I do use upholstery thread. It's the one with the purple, the purple uh, label. It'll say upholstery thread and a needle. I make it a short, just something short thread. Okay, so I start with this, uh, at the very at the very start of the of the ruler. I go to seven and a half because I want my tail to be seven and a half inches long. Then again with this thumb, I hold it right here from from zero. Go to seven. I go to seven. With these two fingers, I make my first loop and hold it. I go again to zero. Go to seven make my second loop to the front. Right here we already have just like a regular, regular bow. Let me see if I can lower down the brightness. Or turn it off. There, better. Okay, we start with zero again. Go to seven, but hold on to, to this one right here. Go to seven, and this loop, I bring it to the back. So we have like this. Again, from the start, go to seven, and this loop, bring it to the front. And now we have this. I never try to equal out, equal them out or anything only because I already did the measuring so it's supposed to be seven inches each one each loop so right here you have this I grab my needle go through the back for me I already know that right here this is my middle so I try to just go right there I go around it at least twice, once or twice. It's, it's up to you, but no more than that, only because then you're gonna have a, a hard time making your folds. To make the folds, what I do, I make this to be flat, and at the same time, I'm pulling the thread in with my back fingers. So I try to make it, um, do it at the same time in another words so that she can have her folds don't do it too fast though because you don't want just if you do it fast this is what's gonna happen you're gonna have like a one fold what you're trying to achieve is to make several folds i mean you can look at it but hold this at the bottom so you can see where you're making your folds right there i made at least three folds which is good enough you go around it at least twice, two, three times, whatever makes you feel it's, you know, it ain't gonna come undone. I run my thread, my needle through the back. Be careful that it doesn't get tangled with your tails. I only do it once, so. And cut it, and that's it. For my tail, I grab them together. So I already know it's right here, my 
the end of it, so I try to match it. You can make your loops bigger, seven and a half, still seven and a half, I think, you know, it's still good. You go eight and your bow's gonna look very floppy. You can go smaller, but if you go too small, it's just gonna look weird. You put your two satin faces looking at each other and you make a diagonal cut. I put them together looking at each other. For them to match at the bottom, I'm going to cut from this way to this corner. The more slanted you cut it, the more slanted you cut it, the pointier it will be. I don't like them that pointy. For me, that is fine. Grab your edges so you can burn them. Don't take too long because if not, you will burn the, the ribbon. Now to make the middle part. I'm, I'll be using this glitter. I'm gonna cut two and a half inches. I'll be putting a, li a line of glue, just be careful not, not to get burned, in the edge of course, and make a small fold. If you decide to put an alligator clip, now's the time to put your alligator and make your fold. If not, you just put a dab of glue. Cut if you have too much ribbon, glitter ribbon and make your fold. And there you have it. Now this one, I added an alligator clip. So for this one, I didn't add it. So all I'm gonna do is just, is just put my glue in the back and attach it to the to the tutu and that's it it's approximately like i said 40 44 inches 